I grab one of these guys because it looks like he might know a lot about the wild. So can begin where he built. Excuse me, sir. What's your name? Uh, Jesse Creel. Fantastic, Jesse. Uh, tell me, how do you outrun a cheetah? Um, I think you've got to actually just think that you are a cheetah and uh, no, just run fast. <laughs> what uh, would you do in case of a shark attack? Uh, firstly, I'm not a type of guy that would find myself in that situation. Not very fond of the waters, but. Uh, I guess if you're on that situation, make sure you swim fast. Tell us, uh, what, we, what would you do if you were stuck in a situation where a lion attacked you? You know, you just need to make sure that you're, that you're a bit faster than the guy next to you. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Okay, we're standing here outside. This is day three of Frank Montgomery, the Bulls bench warmer winner. Uh, how are you feeling? Have you shed some kilos yet? Uh, not as yet, uh, but still working it. Hopefully by weekend and by game time, I should be in top fit shape. I must say, your wife must be much happier, the fact that you are actually getting out and getting fit. Yes, no, definitely. She's much impressed that I'm part of this uh, whole setup and uh, looking forward to me to be in better shape, hopefully, by the next week. Being a Bulls bench warmer means that you're right in the action, you've got the feeling, you've got, you know, you, you, you're feeding off some of the players as well. How's the vibe been in the camp? Obviously, we've had a tough weekend, but now we're filling up Loftus this weekend. What's the feeling like, the general feeling in the camp? Well, you we can definitely see on Monday's training there was lots of intensity. It was quite vocal and loud out here. So I think the guys are really uh, prepared and ready to make up uh, for what has gone wrong over the weekend. And I'm sure that this weekend it's going to be a, a different bull side running out on Loftus. So. Look, and this is also a once in a lifetime experience. I mean, this is something that most people just dream about. I know that I younger was, I had a little bit of a dream, not a ball boy to be a ball boy, so for my part to be How's the whole experience been and is this everything and what you've hoped for and more? I would say it's everything and even more. Uh, I mean, being a bull supporter, being part of the team is something that money can't buy. So definitely being on the stands, yes, it's special. But being part of the team, the whole setup, the build up to the weekend, that is something that I will treasure forever. And I thank Jacaranda and the bulls for this. So. And then also, I've got to find out from you, have you put on your full kitchen and stood in front of the mirror? <laughs> Not yet, uh, but I'm sure before Saturday that will be done. And really looking forward to it and I think it's going to be a proud moment for me here. Again, everybody's got a small superstition just before they run out onto the field. I know this because I'm friends with a bunch of the Bulls as well. Uh, maybe, you know, left sock on first or right boot on mm. first or last guy out of the change room. Have you got any superstitions that you'll follow on Saturday? No superstitions. Uh, seeing that it might be my only game, I'm just going to go out there and enjoy the experience. Uh.